Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be making this beautiful fluted vase. I'm demonstrating right now with silk flowers, but if you watch the video till the end, you'll see how to make these beautiful flowers made actually with a mug. Yes, you'll be using circle pages and curling it around a mug. It's a lot of fun, so please stay to the end to see how to do that. So let's get started. The first step in making our tall vase is see how many pages you have in your book. So you'll go to the last page number, and mine's 203. So it's going to be 203, and we're going to make 70 folds. So that's going to take up 140 pages, because each page actually is two page numbers. So go ahead and subtract that. And that gives me 63. Now I want to divide the difference. So 2 goes into 63, 31 and a half pages. So go ahead and start on page 31. You're always going to start on an odd page. Go to page 31. And it's not going to be, it's, it's not going to be halfway. That's going to be the first thing you're going to worry about. You don't want it to be halfway because you want to allow yourself the 140 pages for the 70 folds you're going to make and then have it even. So this vase is very easy and it only takes two folds. So the first one is going to be an upside down Christmas tree fold. So you're going to take the bottom right corner of your book and fold it up into the gutter to form a triangle and then crease it. If you have a bone folder, you can do that as well. You're then going to take that same page and fold it over again right into the gutter. It almost looks like a paper airplane at this point. Now you're going to take this little extra flap right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn it around and you're going to fold down that little triangle. Okay. Now that little fold, that little triangle, you're going to tuck right in, so it makes a really nice, neat fold. So that's fold type number one. The next fold you're going to do is you're going to take your page and fold it in half into the gutter, like so. You're then going to fold it in half again. So it's nice and narrow. And fold. Okay. And then you're going to repeat that. So it's going to be the upside down Christmas tree fold. So it's the bottom right corner. Fold it up form a triangle and then fold it again. Fold that triangle down and tuck in. Next one, fold page in half. And fold the page in half again. And you're going to go ahead and repeat this 70 times altogether. Now you've already done four of those, so you really only have 66 more to go. As you can see, it comes together very, very quickly. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So now I'm going to show you how to do it with the bone folder. I really think it's a lot easier. So again, triangle, fold over, and you can even use it to help you get that right into that gutter. That's a really nice, and then smooth it down with that bone folder. And then turn it over, fold that over, and then go ahead and tuck it in.
The first step in making these roses is you're going to cut out circles. You can do it out of old book pages and then they'll look like this. Or you can do it out of old magazine pages like I'm doing today and they'll be colorful like this. You can vary the size by, by depending on the size of the circle you cut out. I'm just using a mason jar. So go ahead and cut out circles. I try to cut out um, using magazine pages that I know are going to be colorful, but I also like sometimes to mix it up with some plainer pages just for the contrast. So I'm going to Now for this next step, all you're going to need is the circles that you've cut out, whatever, whether you're using a mug, a shot glass, whatever you want for the diameter, depending on the diameter that you want of your roses, and some glue. So what you do is you just take your circles and put them over the rim of your glass, and you want them to overlap. It gets easier once it starts to get tighter. So that will complete my first circle. And then you're going to take the white glue and put it all around the rim and that will glue it. Now you're going to take your next round and overlap them. next layer. I'd like you to just take a piece of paper and seal it down just to hold everything last layer in place. So go ahead and let that dry. And then when it's, it is dry, I'm going to go ahead and take it off. And there you have a rose. Now if you want to play with the petals a little bit, Maybe you want to curve them a little bit. Once it's dry, you could shape them a little bit. I like to just fold them over a little bit. Just to give it that little realistic look. You could also take a pencil or a pen and curve them around a little bit. 